A new lithium-air battery could one day replace the lithium-ion battery and power cars, domestic airplanes, and long-haul trucks. The U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory has developed a lithium-air battery that could significantly increase the range of electric vehicles. The new design could one day replace lithium ion in batteries and power cars, domestic airplanes, and long-haul trucks. Many owners of electric cars have wished for a battery pack that could power their vehicle for more than a thousand miles on a single charge. Researchers at the Illinois Institute of Technology and U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory have developed a lithium air battery that could make that dream reality. The team's new battery design could also one day power domestic airplanes and long-haul trucks. So is this type of air battery an effective solution for future cars? New series of batteries can replace traditional batteries. The lithium air battery uses a solid electrolyte instead of the typical liquid variety, potentially boosting the battery's energy density by as much as four times above Li-in batteries, which translates into a longer driving range. The new design is also not subject to the usual safety issues with the liquid electrolytes used in Li-in and other batteries, which can overheat and catch fire. Larry Curtis, an Argonne Distinguished Fellow said, for over a decade, scientists at Argonne and elsewhere have been working overtime to develop a lithium battery that makes use of the oxygen in air. The lithium air battery has the highest projected energy density of any battery technology being considered for the next generation of batteries beyond lithium ion. Argonne chemist Rach Demine said the chemical reaction for lithium superoxide or peroxide only involves one or two electrons stored per oxygen molecule, whereas that for lithium oxide involves four electrons. The new design is the first lithium air battery to achieve a four electron reaction at room temperature. It also operates with oxygen supplied by air from the surrounding environment, negating earlier design's need for oxygen tanks to operate. Past lithium air test cells suffered from very short cycle lives. The team established that this shortcoming is not the case for their new battery design by building and operating a test cell for 1,000 cycles, demonstrating its stability over repeated charge and discharge. Besides, new lithium air battery could be 4x better than the Li-in. In Chicago, a new lithium air design is being developed by Illinois Institute of Technology Chemical Engineering Assistant Professor Mohamed Asadi in collaboration with researchers from Margan National Lab and University of Illinois Chicago. The research was supported by the U.S. Department of Energy. Asadi considers lithium air a breakthrough design that could possibly be engineered for market production. The battery design could potentially store one kilowatt hour per kilogram or more, four times greater energy density than the potential of lithium ion technology. At that rate, it would be suitable for converting heavy duty vehicles to electric, including airplanes, trains, and submarines. Asadi made a battery with a solid electrolyte of polymer and ceramic, common solid electrolytes that separately don't work as well. By combining them, the result took advantage of the ceramic material's high ionic connectivity and the polymer's high stability. With this solid electrolyte, a lithium dioxide reaction can occur at high rates at room temperature. Asadi said in a statement the solid-state electrolyte contributes around 75% of the total energy density. That tells us there is a lot of room for improvement because we believe we can minimize that thickness without compromising performance and that would allow us to achieve a very, very high energy density. According to Markets and Markets, the current market for lithium-ion batteries was valued at $44 billion in 2022 and expected to reach $135 billion in 2031. Even though the lithium air design holds potential for greater energy density, many experts believe the world's supply of lithium could be stretched by 2025 as lithium demand for batteries triples by then. Components in lithium air batteries The main new component in this lithium air battery is a solid electrolyte instead of the usual liquid variety. 
Batteries with solid electrolytes are not subject to the safety issue with the liquid electrolytes used in lithium-ion and other battery types, which can overheat and catch fire. More importantly, the team's lithium Mayer solid electrolyte design can potentially boost the battery's energy density by as much as four times above lithium-ion batteries, which translates into longer driving range. The team's new solid electrolyte is composed of a ceramic polymer material made from relatively inexpensive elements in nanoparticle form. This new solid enables chemical reactions that produce lithium oxide on discharge. In past lithium air designs, the lithium in a lithium metal anode moves through a liquid electrolyte to combine with oxygen during the discharge, yielding lithium peroxide or superoxide at the cathode. The lithium peroxide or superoxide is then broken back down into its lithium and oxygen components during the charge. This chemical reaction stores and releases energy on demand. The chemical reaction yielding lithium oxide involves four electrons stored per oxygen molecule, whereas that for lithium superoxide or peroxide only involves one or two electrons. More electrons stored translates into higher energy density. The team's lithium air design is the first lithium air test cell that has achieved a four-electron reaction at room temperature. It also operates with oxygen supplied by air from the surrounding environment. The capability to run with air avoids the need for oxygen tanks to operate, a problem with earlier designs. With further development, the team expects their new battery design could reach a record energy density of 1,200 watt-hours per kilogram nearly four times better than lithium-ion batteries. Maybe in the future, people will find more efficient batteries. However, at this point, we are waiting to see if lithium-air battery can replace traditional batteries.